Hello, thank you so much for tuning in. Today I wanted to show you how you can create really quickly slideshow for your presentation. So these presentations I use when I finish my photographs and I invite people over to view the galleries and I know there are special um, platforms where you can do it but I thought why pay um, extra cost when I can do it easily in something that is free because DaVinci Resolve is free and you can make your own slideshow within a few minutes really really quickly once you get hang of it and you do the steps every time the same way it's really really simple so let's get to it first of all you're going to need the software so if you head into uh, black magic design because that's the company that makes uh, davinci resolve you can see um, DaVinci Resolve 17 is the latest one. I don't know what which point you're going to watch it. It might be uh, later on. So at this point, the free version uh, should be absolutely fine. And I have used the free version for a very long time, up till last month, really. Uh, it's only because I do some extra videoing and a VR videos. I wanted the absolute top quality but honestly for a slideshow you will be absolutely fine with free version so once you download and install your program you can open it and at first DaVinci might seem a little intimidating um, but honestly once you get hang of those steps that you really need to do it's nothing to be scared of so once you open you're going to see the projects um, site and what you can do is just start a new project um, slideshow whatever you I never call them really anything uh, but it's up to you and you're going to see this massive uh, area uh, first of all you have the panels on the bottom and they all are responsible for different things media which i never really use uh, cut I never really use edit I use and then fusion if you do any fancy editing it is really powerful powerful software and um, massive um, competition to Adobe so deliver is when you're finally done with your project and you want to export it let's start from the beginning first of all you need to do a little setting change and it's only a very minor thing so this is the bit we have to adjust and go into media um, tab on the bottom you have a few different ones here and here you this is exactly the layout i will get out of the box i recently installed this version so this is what you should be seeing as well and here on the top you've got those three dots frame display mode make sure it's selected individual otherwise it was driving me nuts it will download it as a one blob video and it's a pain there's nothing to do with it so that's done let's go into our edit area um, and here you have kind of two screens i prefer to have one just press that button here and you're going to have one image here no clips in the pool media right click and import media so this is the session we're going to edit and now i only have a few because it will take too long to fast with them all uh, usually i'll show you what i do and then you can decide what works for you um so i'm going to select all the images these are just the uh, soundtracks that open and first of all i'm going to take this logo picture and drag it down here and leave it here so you can adjust it and make it smaller uh, and then i'm going oh, without the timeline uh, i'm going to select and drag the rest of the clips so now if you put your needle here this is kind of your playing needle and press the long space button it will show you how long this is your sli slideshow in action it doesn't look very nice so we're going to jazz it up first of all it's up to you how long you want those images to go for and from as a rule of thumb i tend to keep them around five seconds which is set up for my default are uh, sometimes four for very very long slideshows uh, with lots of pictures from family 
outdoor session I cut it down to four and um, I'm going to change the speed so right click change clip duration and here you have to be really precise that you select the right bit uh, we're going to change it to four and change and you can see it kind of created those clips but now we have gaps between them so go into edit and delete gaps so now they all nicely knit together uh, the other thing i always put at the end i also put my logo it's just it's like a closing thing uh, make it whatever 30 seconds it doesn't really matter um here so this is our slideshow at the moment there is not much happening it still looks very wooden so at this point you want to add some effects and at the top here you have this magic wand so click it on and you'll see different effects and to be honest i only use one of them which is cross dissolve um so this is what we're going to do i'm going to select from the very beginning to the very end and on the cross dissolve right click and add to selected editing points and this applies this kind of film transparent film here you can see you can select it i always delete that from the very end using my delete button and remember, and DaVinci is quite important if you use delete or backspace or cut. But here you can use delete. Make sure you have it selected on that little transition, not on the clip itself, on the image. Um, let me show you how it looks like. So we have here, and it kind of transition nicely, softly together. It still looks a little bit wooden. Um, you can keep it like that if you like the minimalistic look. That's fine. Uh, what I like to do, I like to select all my images except of logo. So I have selected the first one, holding shift and selecting the last one. So it will select everything in between. Um, and now what I'm going to do in your right uh, panel, there is dynamic zoom. And I have clicked that on and it applied to all of those clips. I hope you have that panel open here. If not, it is inspector here. So I'm pressing my, taking my needle at the beginning, pressing space button. And this is what it looks like. And this is usually how I deliver my slideshows. It just gives a little bit of life. It's simple, there is no crazy transitions, um, very easy, but it's effective. I, I do produce them uh, for my clients to show the images and, well, my galleries uh, sell very, very well. So that's what it looks like. So just a few additional touches. At the very end, once you go closer to that edge, you want to slide that here and what it does it will nicely transition out so it's like a blackout sort of effect and we're going to do that the same on the beginning i always like that it's so not so harsh it brings you in gently there you go so the other thing we have to add is music and i'm gonna head into the folder that we have um our all our pictures and everything. So this is the folder where I have all my media that, uh, ready for slideshow. And I have those video, um, sorry, uh, audio tracks from YouTube because eventually it's gonna end up, it usually ends up on YouTube. Um, and I have selected a um, couple of songs I usually put in, which is White River by Akash. Gandhi, so it's always the same music on my um, slideshow presentation. And this time, this one is enough, but imagine. <laughs> Usually I have to put two of them in. And I would simply just drag it. But because we don't really need it, just delete that one. Uh, because our sh slideshow is a mini slideshow today, that's fine. So I'm going to go from the beginning. And once I start, music beautifully works together so if you for example want the music to start a little earlier what i would do i'll take a razor 
tool and cut it you can see there's white marks this is where the music starts and with this one be careful do not if you choose delete it will delete it with a part of my image here on the top which is not good it's going to mess up your slideshow big time so what you want to do is just select that area right click and cut or control x if you're good with shortcuts i just do that and then you can manually either drag it or if you click here and ripple delete which kind of drags everything nicely to the right place and with the music i like to put in and out as well so it's soft it doesn't kind of oh, wakes you up all of a sudden but this is what it looks like in the end okay i'll get uh, carried away here watching my own pictures um, and I'm going to grab that razor again and cut it at the end of the slideshow. Make sure you get rid of this one. Here you can use delete because there's nothing above here that would be affected. So just delete. And very important thing, set up your needle here on the top and simply press O letter. O like Olaf. <laughs> um, and it's basically in and out. Uh, oh, like out. <laughs> um, so it shows you what is being selected because if not, it's just going to record very bizarre area, which is a slideshow and some empty stuff. So you don't, we want to avoid that. So this is our slideshow done now. This is what all I need, all those little steps done. And what I'm going to do, I'm going to have to export it. So deliver is your last tab to use. And these are the settings I new, normally use, not HD, the 1920 by 1080 HD. That's the one good for YouTube, good for a slideshow. If you show that to clients on the big screen, it's going to look fantastic. So format always, always MP4 um, because the other ones QuickTime can cause you trouble and it's not accepted on YouTube if you want to create something for YouTube. Um, everything else is here as it is from the from my software being downloaded. Uh, browse is where you're going to place your video. So I'm going to come back to the same folder and just maybe create a new folder here already. And save. And now what I need to do, add render queue. You're going to see the job one is appearing here and you need to press render all. I know some of this workflow might be not familiar to you uh, if you're not into video editing. It took me a little time to get used to. It took me a little time to work out like those um, images being downloaded as a clump. So I had to work it out and everything, but it works now. And I just wanted to show you those easy steps that you can create your video. And let's have a look now because our video is ready. Oh. Uh, so ready video, if I turn it on. Voila. So I think it looks nice and peaceful. It looks classic. There's no crazy kind of anything fancy schwancy in there but everything i need really i don't need anything else and i use my davinci software for all my video editing it is brilliant it's free and um if you want anything more complicated it can do stuff really really well as well um so I highly, highly recommend uh, the software and please let me know if you have any questions at all. If you would like me to go into details with anything else, uh, I would love to hear from you. So thank you so much and until next time. Bye.